Hello and welcome back. This is Paul Cheney of Spartan Design University and we're going to take our news and our tweets and set them up side by side for the desktop version because the phone version oops, the phone version is already stacked the way we want it. The tablet version is also stacked according to our design. We just need to fix this version here. Now, I can't go around floating articles because this is in an article and this is in an article. So I'm going to put this, whenever I do multiple columns, I'll put the number of columns inside of a new division and I'll tag it with a row. So let's go back to our source code. Take a look here. We have a news article starting at line 75 and we have our tweet article starting at line 88. Both of those I'm going to put inside of a new division and I'm going to close the division. Dreamweaver knows, knows that that's the correct tag and I'm going to do a class equals row. And I just took that term from Microsoft Excel. We've got one row and then we're going to end up with two columns here. So let's save that. It should not have any effect on what we've got so far. It doesn't change the phone or the tablet. But now that we're here, we can start throwing some code at it. So let's go to our desktop because that's where we need to make the change. In the content area, we're going to talk to both of those articles. Now I could do content article. The problem is, is this would talk to this and this and this. So that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is do div dot row space article. So all articles that live inside of a division with a class of row. Well, there's only two of those. That's this one and this one. We're going to say um, with 50%. See what that does for us. There, sure enough, it doesn't affect this one. It only affects those two. Now, that they're 50%, we can float left. And as long as they will fit, they should stack side by side, but they don't. The reason they don't is because this article has some margin on it. If we go back here to, there it is, content article, it has a 2% left and right margin. So when I add this 2% to this 50%, they're actually 54% wide. And of course, you can't put 54% twice on the same row because it exceeds 100. So if we drop this back to 46, then we add 2 to each side. We now have those two side by side. Now, there's blue behind them. That's because they're floated, and we'll solve that here in a second. Actually, we can solve it right now because you already know the solution. We've done it twice before. We did it when we had a problem with the header. We had to put a division in here to keep it open. We had to do it again with the nav to keep that from collapsing. And now we're going to do just before our closing row, which is right here, I like to put notes, closes the row. We put that in to keep that from collapsing. There, now the content is down there completely around it. All right, back to our desktop. In addition to having those float left and being side by side, I want to make the heights equal. So height is, let's say, 200 pixels. See what that does for us. Hit refresh. Okay, 200 pixels, but look what we've got here. This text just keeps flowing across the top of our footer and down the page, which isn't cool. So now we need to do overflow 
auto. That should give us, if I typed it correctly, a nice scroll bar here. So it keeps it inside that div. So now we have, in case our tweets get too long or our tags here get too long, then it's still going to fit. So quick review. We built a page using the mobile first design. So we built the phone version first. We've got an image here that's always 100% because it lives inside of an article tag. Sorry, it lives inside of a... If I can find it here. There it is. It lives inside of a figure tag whose width is set to 100%. And then this tells the image that's inside the figure to be 100% of the figure width. So we can control the width of these two individually and always have the image scale to fit. Navigation, which we've set up to be a series of buttons on the phone and a horizontal menu on the tablet and the desktop. Down here we've got three articles. One holds this text and this image and the second two articles are news and tweets. Both of those live inside of a row. Those two articles stack on the tablet and on the phone and they are side by side on the desktop. And they're set up with overflow auto so that we introduce a scroll bar in case the content gets too much for them to handle. We've got a nice gradient in the background which pops up and is loaded only on the desktop version of this site.